break this. See, lift those guys. Okay, grab your spot, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna proceed to do my pre-break test. Pre-break test. Estamos preparándonos. Pre-break test. I'm gonna turn off my truck. I'm gonna open the key only. My ABS tractor light. Let's turn it off. It's working properly. I'm gonna proceed to clean and stabilize my air system, pushing both of my valves. I will wait 10 seconds to clean and stabilize. Okay, that was my pre brake test. It's working properly. I wanna proceed to do my air brake test. Okay, so now I wanna start with my 4 PSI test. El 4 PSI, no queremos perder más de 4 libras de presión. Okay, I wanna take out my phone. I will set the chronometer. Boom, lo ponen aquí su teléfono. Y le van a decir a la grow, you're gonna tell the grow. I should not lose more than 4 PSI in one minute. Okay, so first my break and then start the time. Boom. And make sure guys you're shaking these gauges from the air primary and the secondary air gauges. They are not dropping. Okay, make sure they are stay steady like this guys. O over a minute. Okay, so when the minute pass guys always let the minute pass like around five more seconds like a minute and five seconds okay just to make sure okay so it's a minute five seconds i stop my time <laughs> as you can see i did not lose more than four psi in one minute it was a good test now i want to proceed to do my low warning light test low warning light test I'm gonna pump my brakes several times till my low warning light show up. Okay? This should happen before 60 psi. No se les va a olvidar decir eso. It should turn on before 60 psi. Okay, as you can see, it's a brake air at the river. Okay, as you can see, my low warning light is working properly. Okay. Now, I'm gonna proceed to do my pop out test. My valves should pop out between 20 to 45 PSI. 20 to 45 PSI. I'm gonna start. Okay, both of my valves popped out. It was a good test. Now, I'm gonna perform a safety start. I'm gonna do my recovery test. I'm gonna see the recovery test. I wanna do my recovery test. I wanna record my air tanks to 125 PSI. No más lo van a decir eso. I wanna record my air tanks at 125 PSI. I got no safety start, guys. Do a safety start. Make sure it's in neutral. Press your clutch and turn on the truck. Let's do the clutch slowly, guys, always. Okay? Le van a acelerar, you're gonna accelerate guys to the 14, al 14. Ajá, uh -huh. RPMs. No tienen que decir eso, nomás ustedes pónganlo ahí. Wait guys for the governor valve to cut up. You wanna hear it behind. Okay, you hear guys? Okay, my governor valve cuts the air to 125 psi. It's a good test. 
Now I'm gonna proceed to do my duck test. For my duck test, I need to go first and remove my wheel chuck. I, let, I take out my seat belt, use three point contact system, grab the steering wheel, the door handle, face the cab, uh, grab the three point contact uh, handle, check there's no traffic coming, and you get out. Me anda cayendo, lo agarré mal. Oh. Ok, guys. Put your seatbelt back on. Remember, guys, if the, sh if the wheel shock is stuck, hard to remove, tell the lady that you need to pull it forward a little bit just to release the tire from the wheel shock. So then you come back and you pull it out. Ok. So now uh, I want to proceed to do my talk test. I'm going to check first my trailer brakes. So it means if I'm checking my trailer brakes, I need to press the other one. Clutch. Only clutch. Oh. Only clutch, and you can start any gear you want. I'd just rather one to start in, one, in two, fourth three. gear. Yeah, okay, boom. okay. So now I want to proceed to do my trailer brake check. Slowly release the clutch. Okay, there's the top. I push it back, my clutch back in. Okay. So my trailer brakes are working properly. I wanna proceed to do to check my tractor brakes. So pop out the tractor first and then push in the other one. I wanna check my tractor brakes. Slowly release the clutch. When you feel the tuck, you push it back in. Okay, so my tractor brakes are working properly. Pop out, put in neutral. Okay man, my tuck test is a good test. I'm gonna proceed to check now my surface brake test. I'm gonna move forward up to five miles per hour and then I'm going to stop. I will check at the same time that my speedometer works properly. I will check my truck doesn't move to the left or the right. And, I make, and the most important thing is to check the surface brake stops my truck. Okay, I'm gonna do it guys. Okay, watch out, well, I'm gonna move guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward up to five miles per hour. Always, guys, shade, there's no traffic coming from your left because trailers can't be crossing because it's a rest area. It's clear. There's up to five miles, clutch, and smoothly braking. Okay, my service brake is working properly, my speedometer works properly, and my truck did not move left or right. I wanna go back in reposition. When you're reversing, guys, make sure that you move the steering wheel from the bottom to the side you want to move the trailer. If you want to move it to that side, you have to grab from the bottom, move it to that side. You want to move your trailer to the right side, you grab from the bottom, you move it to that side. I wanna go to left, I go to left. I bring it back. Clutch and brake. Neutralize the vehicle and set up again your brakes. Don't forget to set up your brakes, guys. There's people that have come back to this position without applying the brakes back and when they're explaining, oh, I finished, whatever, the truck is start rolling back, so they fell for that. So just remember reposition, this is part of it. You must pop it out when you back completely. Okay. Remember, guys, when you're backing and you park to the uh, same position you was before starting the service brake, then you need to apply the brakes again. Okay, don't gonna forget to apply your brakes back. After you wanna tell the lady, okay, or the guy or the gentleman. Okay man, that was my service brake test. So all my brake test is a good test. Uh, how much time do I have left so I can go and shake whatever? I can go and shake my if you did a part A, you can say I, I can go again to shake my engine. 
okay so only mention guys only ask how much time do i have left so i can go and check something she will tell you you have 10 minutes why use your 10 minutes guys okay and that's it guys